Good morning. Thank you guys for watching Shavoy and Ross TV. Today's Wednesday. You already know, every Wednesday I go ahead and put up a video about health. So, it's early in the morning. So, I already drop off the kids to school. Right now, I'm taking my little one. But after that, I'm planning on going back to Publix. Because last night, I had a bad experience. Buying some seafood. Alright? Okay, we all know that when you purchase meat, which is chicken, pork, and etc., when it's already prepped, seasoned, and made already, that they have been spoiled or it been sitting there for a while, so they try and get rid of it, so they already prep it and season it and ready to get cooked. Once you get home, it's just ready to go. So last night, I purchased me some crab. I usually get it fresh from the bush and stuff like that but they didn't have any so I purchased where they had in the shelf and that was the last one because my son wanted some Cajun crab so I was like okay let me grab this one since that's the last one which I'm was I was really skeptical um how should I say it I was really skeptical to say hey should I get it or not I like hey it's just seafood so it, it's, it shouldn't be a problem so the fact that I purchased it and everything, so when I got home, remind, remind you, it's already prep season to go. So it was frozen. So when I got home, all I did is put in a pot and put a, a like a like at least a half a cup of water to make it steam, so it could warm up and stuff like that. So after it was done, I put it on a plate and everything. It was ready to eat. To go in our belly. So while I'm cracking the sh while I'm cracking the crab and taking out the bones for my son and everything, it has like this smell. It wasn't a it didn't smell spoil or anything like it had like this like they put some sanitizer with it or I don't know if they spray it with something. So and after that then I start to um vomit like I was like nah something is wrong with this seafood. It don't it don't make no sense. So I'm like, okay, is it me or is it because I just finished brushing my teeth and I just wanted to try the crab to see how it tastes. So, and then I told my son, like, um, why are you not eating the crab or something like that? He said, uh, mommy, it has a funny taste to it. i like, you know what? I spent $30 on this seafood and I didn't even enjoy it on this crab. I did not even enjoy it. So what I did, I called up and still like, hey, you can come and return it right now. But we're closed like in two more hours or you can return tomorrow morning. I said, well, I would return it right now in the location where I got it from. But I'm too far away because I bought it, I purchased it in Miami. I said, can I turn it at another public even though it was already eight? And she's like, yeah, sure. Just bring your receipt. It's a good thing. I do not throw my receipt no matter what. I hold on my receipt at least to even a year. Even after it's not even good after 90 days or 45 days, I always keep on my receipt it's important to keep your receipt so as i'm finished dropping my little one i'm going straight to Publix and return the leftover crab and the other part of the crab that i didn't even cook yet that was even unwrapped because i was trying to do a big pot so i only did like a small because it was too late so it's a good thing i even opened the other container um I suggest you guys, you got, you got to be aware when you see that they already have the meat or the, the seafood, any type of thing that's going inside your stomach already prepped and seasoned, ready to go, do not purchase that because you don't know how long they've been sitting there where they're trying to get rid of it because I even have friends that even tell me about meat, but I didn't know that it also play a part of seafood because I know seafood gets spoiled quick. So I have some friends say, hey, when we try to get rid of the um, the chicken and everything, we just put some curry or some Cajun, red bell, green bell, let it look nice and prep and everything because we're trying to cover the color because you know, the color of the meat because, you know, the meat is dark. So they added their own color to it, whatever, the blood and everything. They added some blood, all that. So that's how they get rid of it. So my experience and to tell you guys do not purchase anything that's already prepped and ready to go i know i repeat that but i'm gonna repeat that again even 
no seafood, anything, do not. Prep it yourself. Season everything yourself. Stop being lazy. I was not being lazy yesterday because they didn't have nothing fresh. So I said, okay, let me grab that and see how it is because that was going to be his first experience eating that. I usually eat that by eating like in a restaurant and stuff like that. So don't forget, you guys, to like, share, subscribe with family and friends if you haven't. And again, thank you for the support. And I'm selling ginger juice. You could go ahead and follow me on IG O G E J U I E S. That's the spelling. O G juices. So go ahead and get your ginger or your tamarind, or you can get both, either or. Have a blessed day.